You're watching Lehigh Valley Sports Scene. Brought to you by St. Luke's University Health Network, a top 100 hospital. We welcome you to Sports Scene along with Al DiCarlo. I'm Tom Eichrantz. High School Volleyball topping tonight's show. The EPC holds its conference openers yesterday on Tuesday. And the defending 4A district champion Parkland opening against Freedom. They are without the EPC MVP from last year. They are indeed, but they also come with them a 114 <laughs> regular season win streak dating back to 2009. And we'll see if that streak continues. Parkland season came to a disappointing end last year. Tasting defeat in the PIAA championship, luckily for the Trojans. That's all left in the past as they have confidently replenished their arsenal. Several girls have stepped up in positions like the one left by Sam Graver. They got the good look last night in their first match of the season against Freedom. Gwen Begley has those highlights. The Freedom Patriots fared pretty well in the first kill tournament this past weekend, picking up three wins, a loss, and two ties. Now comes probably the toughest challenge they'll see this season in Parkland, the defending District 11 champs. Freedom starts out pretty strong in the first set with a 5-3 lead. Morgan Hoffert striking it just inside the line. The Trojans come back outside one. Grace Stewart flexing her muscles with the kill. She'll average 4.7 per set as Parkland pulls away. They limit Freedom to 13. The last couple points coming off Stewart. They take the first 25-13. A service ace for Kira Dreisbach puts the Patriots in a hole early in the second. They climb 6-1. to one. Mia Jago smacking one to the hardwood, one of her five kills. Freedom closes the gap, cutting it in half. Haley Silfies with one of her two up front. The Trojans pull away again, but not without some power off the arm of Patriots senior Julia Roman. Stewart can't get to that one on time. Parkland still takes the set 25-15. The Trojans make sure this last one counts. Standout stars, well, that's Grace Stewart with the help of Maddie Beaver. She set her up pretty nice, 23 assists for the senior. Parkland wins set three, 25 to 12, and take the match three to nothing. Where we work from the floor up to the net, we saw a lot of positives, and uh, we weren't sure on, on the flow, and it looked like their focus was really good, and uh, um, putting together, identifying different types of balls and different types of uh, position where it's coming from, they identified that pretty well and, and uh, made it pretty continuous, which is something they've been working pretty hard on. It was nice to see that they got it. Well, obviously, Parkland had pretty big shoes to fill, losing Sam Graber to graduation, but it looks like that outside one position is pretty well taken care of by Grace Stewart. She had 14 kills and four blocks tonight. I don't think anyone can replace her. <laughs> um, there's pretty big shoes to fill but everyone is stepping up like she definitely was a big piece of like our program puzzle and like everyone is stepping up and really filling in there. Well she's she's going to watch and learn and that's what we asked her to do with uh, that position. Uh, she's going to be the outside one position and she's really worked hard on, on hitting the ball higher and she gets very excited so we had to actually slow her down a little bit because she's so athletic and strong and um, her and Kira are going to, Kira has really stepped up too, so they're a very good balance. We have six rotation, we have two six rotation players, which is really good for us, and uh, they feed off each other. Grace is very explosive, Kira plays a very cerebral game, and Maddie's putting a ball in a position for her outsides, which uh, was really helpful. At Parkland High School, I'm Gwen Begley for two sports. So, of course, players to replace, but at the same time, a Parkland team that reloads each and every year. They have dominated six of seven, the last seven district titles, and seven of the last nine league championships. Mm. Well, the other district champion in 3A Central also in action yesterday against Easton. It's uh, kind of rare when we can talk about another Lehigh Valley team besides, other than Parkland, going further than the Trojans in the postseason. Central Catholic 